The work is painstaking, but piece by piece, an artwork emerges. These artists work in the occupied West Bank city of Jericho. They restore and create replicas of mosaics. They say the effort is worth it. Mosaics used to be a part of our homes in the past. Now they're an art because they require a lot of work and time and artistic sensibility. It's harder than painting with oil or watercolors because here you have to paint with stones. These are natural stones which we find in nature in the Holy Land in Palestine. We can make a mosaic from them that has a message and is also beautiful. Palestinians working in the mosaic center in Jericho use only natural stones and glass. But what they need even more is concentration and time. As you can see here, the paint is drawn with a stick, and we will make a replica from stones. We make it look like the same in detail as the paint. This piece has been sold for the Church of Annunciation in Nazareth. Two kinds of materials were used to make it, natural stones and glass. In Palestine, we have around 24 colors of natural stones. We bring them from quarries, the mountains and valleys. The center is located close to Hisham Palace one of the most significant early Islamic sites in Palestine. It was built in the first half of the 8th century and is home to one of the largest floor mosaics in the world. The ancient artwork was long neglected until Japan founded a five-year restoration. The finished mosaic was unveiled in October. We expect this project and the opening of the mosaic to the public to increase the number of tourists who specifically come to Jericho and those who visit Palestine generally. In 2015 and 2016, when we unveiled the mosaic for just one month, we saw a great increase in the number of tourists. These stones tell a 2,000-year-long story of Palestinian culture. And these artists are seeing that that heritage lives on. Mustafa Fatih Avuz, TRT World.